I'm Beth Fisher. Right now on your 13 Action News update, the woman accused of posing as a social worker to kidnap a three-week-old baby is set to appear in court. Police say Joanna Boyd called them to help her assist with the removal of a child last month. When they arrived, she presented a fake court order and other documents. Boyd faces several charges, including kidnapping, impersonating a public officer, and possession of a stolen car. The Clark County Commission is taking the next steps to rename McCarran International Airport. At today's meeting, the commissioners are scheduled to approve a resolution to be submitted to the FAA. They'll request the airport's name to be changed to Harry Reid Las Vegas International Airport or an alternative name. The original proposal was made by Governor-elect and Commission Chairman Steve Sisolak. More than 2,000 students at UNLV will graduate today. The class of 2018 winter commencement is happening at 4 p.m. at the Thomas & Mack Center. UNLV says their graduates range in age from 20 to 72, and they come from 33 states and 49 different countries. It's exciting, Justin. Yeah, big congratulations to all of those graduates. We are looking at great weather through the rest of this week. Mostly sunny conditions, temperatures way above average, 5 to 10 degrees warmer than is typical for the middle of December, and that'll give us low 60s this afternoon in Las Vegas. Still chilly at night, down to the low 40s and upper 30s after midnight, but we may flirt with a record high on Wednesday and then again on Friday. Winter starts later this week, but it's going to feel more like fall with temperatures in the 60s through the weekend. Justin, thanks. You can always get the latest news at KTNV.com, our KTNV mobile app, our Roku channel, and the latest version of Apple TV. Have a great day.